my time. Wolf. Kill them off with that judo, that judo, that judo. Live fast, you too slow. You too slow, you. And you want to get down, my crew. Hey. 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 Yeah. 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 What is good? What is good? What is good? What is good? All you got. Damn hypies. What is the fucking deal, guys? It's been a long, long week filled with madness because we got a whole nother round of summer teas dropping. You guys excited? Are you guys amped? We got a whole nother round of the very last round of summer teas dropping. And um, I'm excited. Who here is excited? Oh, shit. That is right. This is the second to last Wednesday night hype. For the season. This is pretty crazy. This is pretty crazy. Um, How's everybody's week been? Uh, it is week 19. How has everybody's week been? Let me know in the fucking super duper chat. It is only Wednesday. I hope everybody's been having a good week. <clears throat> Just cool? Just a cool week? Damn, playing football in 95 degree, 95 degree weather sounds like fucking madness. That sounds hard. Guys, it's week 19. There's only one more week of Supreme left after this. Only one more week. If you're in L.A. and you want to link up, you can reach me on the Instagram. You can reach me in Twitter because I, I can't just be linking up with anybody. So I got to do a little venting. Make sure that you're not a fucking maniac. And then we can link up. But if you are in L.A., if you're ever in L.A. and you want to link up, feel free to shoot me a DM and, and we can try to make it work. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I'm not dying. Just because the Supreme season is over doesn't mean I'm gone. Don't worry about it, guys. Uh, my Twitter is 2K Sin. It's at the bottom of every freaking. There we go. That's the Twitter. 2K Sin. What's my opinion on this drop? I'm going to tell you. I'm currently twisting up something very nice or grinding. I'm grinding up something very nice to twist up eventually. If you guys haven't yet seen the All of Us video, go watch the All of Us video because it's hard as shit. If you guys haven't yet seen the brand new series I call High Fashion, where I get blazed out of my mind and watch the latest runways from the hottest brands. Go watch that right after this.
And if anybody from the Discord gang is here, shout out to the Discord gang. I'm going to go turn, turn on the AC because it's fucking hot as shit. So, week 19, guys. Week 19. Uh, let me just get some water up in here. Actually, I don't even need it. Uh, week 19. I personally think this is one of my favorite weeks just because the last round of summer teas are so good. Like, I like pretty much all of them. It's weird because it seems like they cut one of the teas. I guess the Hindu tea is not dropping tomorrow. So there's no Hindu tea happening at all. Um, but, but we are getting some really cool t-shirts tomorrow. Um, so, uh... I guess to start off the, the this Wednesday night hype, maybe I'll just start talking about the t-shirts first because I don't know. Did they they didn't display them? Did they display them on the website? I don't I wonder if they did. Yes, they did. And this whole thing about um Supreme donating money to um the the what is it? Hold on, let me just read this real quick. A portion of the summer t-shirt sales will benefit organizations working to protect children and aid families impacted by the Trump administration immigration policies. Donations will be made via Act Blue and will benefit critical organizations including the ACLU and Kids in Need of Defense. Now, in my personal opinion, that is why I fuck with Supreme because they just... That's just hard. I just fuck with that. That's like so sick that they're doing that. Um, so with that, let's not waste any more time and um, get to the T-shirts. So we do have, what's this one called? The Tentacle T-shirt. I'd say out of all the T-shirts, this is probably my least favorite. Um, the design isn't insane, but it is pretty cool. It's just not me i'd say honestly though like the color of the octopus is op does open up the doorway to a lot of solid fits you can match a lot of good sneakers with this shirt because of the colors that are on the octopus is anybody looking to get the tentacle tea tomorrow let me know in the supreme chat right now let me know let me know let me know Anyone looking to get this, let me know in the Supreme Chat right now. Anyone? No one's looking to get this one? So it's pretty popular as far as voting goes. It's no slouch. It looks like it's like the second or third most popular shirt. So there you go. Um, next up, we have the Rock T or Rocks Rocks T. Shout out to Ryan G. They aren't. Don't, they aren't giving people numbers instead of only times. Do you have any idea how it will go down? I am not sure. I did not realize that they were only giving people times and not numbers. Maybe because giving people's numbers, it doesn't really make sense because no one lines up in that number. They just get there at the specific time that they're supposed to get there. So I don't know why. But thank you for donating to the channel. Let me know, Ryan, what you plan on going for. Did you get into the store? All that. Thank you again, Ryan, for donating to the channel. Everybody shout out, Ryan. But on to this rock shirt. Um, I do like the shirt. My, I'd say my only pet peeve is even though I might have I might have one or two pieces that like say Supreme New York and all that. I'm from Boston, so I hate rocking a shirt that says New York or a shirt that says Paris or uh, London Paris. I wouldn't mind as much, but 
You know, I am a Boston guy. Like, I don't know. I'm just an idiot when it comes to that. But as far as the design goes, I do like this design. It looks like, I guess, it's just different types of rocks that they put next to each other to spell out Supreme, New York, London, and Paris. Um, Did Ryan say what he was going for? Yeah, I like the I like this tee. Once again, I my my favorite colorway of this shirt, since but I've only seen one is the black one. It definitely lets the colors breathe the most. I think a white one in this would also look good. But any other colorway, since it has a yellow, a red, a blue, a green, it almost has like brownish tone colorways and a purple. I feel like if you were to get this shirt in any of those colorways, like a red, a yellow, yellow, green, blue, blue it might make it hard to see the the shirt the the logo on the shirt ryan what did you say i got a i got 11 uh all the t's breath lies are also what are the best colors for resale i don't know because i don't know all the colors did they say all the colors i don't know if they said all the colors yet but i don't know the best color for resale I honestly don't think any of these shirts are going to have, like, insane resale. So don't buy the, any of these shirts expecting to quadruple your profits. Um, stick a, If you're looking for the Discord, stick around. I will put that in there. Um, give me a second. Faded Oregon. Um, but I do like this shirt. It is pretty cool. As far as the... And it seems like this is definitely one of the most popular shirts as well. Very thumbed up. There's a lot of thumbs up going to the shirt, I will say. So that's always good. You know, that's always good. And yeah, seven colorways is saying the shirts coming in with seven colorways of all these shirts. You should definitely be able to get at least one. It might not be your first choice as far as the colorway. It might not be your favorite, but you if you really want the shirt, I'd say go for it, even if it's not the colorway that you wanted, if the colorway you wanted sold out. And then maybe you can trade. Maybe you can sell for sell that one and be able to buy, get enough money to buy the one you want. Um, so, yeah, that's what I would recommend if you have that issue. Um, next shirt. Now, this is one that totally caught me off guard. Sorry about the lag, guys. This is one that totally caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting this one um, because this wasn't in any of the leaks as far as the next round of summer shirts. And this is probably my favorite shirt, to be totally honest. I love this one. The colors, even the color that is coming in, the gold, um, I fuck with this one. It's hard as fuck. Seems like a lot of people uh, are fucking with it as well. Um, because it is majority thumbed up, um, but uh, it isn't the most popular. It seems like the Mona Lisa definitely is the most popular. But I love this shirt. I think this is prop. Th to me personally, I like this better than the Mona Lisa. And I know that's fucking crazy to say, but especially this gold colorway. Oh, my fucking God. This shirt is sick. Rick Rubin is not dropping, it looks like. Um, is anyone fucking with this shirt tomorrow? Is anyone going for the swimmer's tee? Let me know in the Supreme chat right fucking now. Retail for these shirts are all, I think, 38, 38 bucks. I feel like a lot of people won't understand this shirt or like why I like it so much because they don't got Sean Werther spoons and this shirt would look perfect with them shits depending on the colorway. This shirt because you got oh those the Werther spoons with this shirt. Oh, we're out of here, doc. We're out of here. The fits is getting put together right now. Kayak guys, calm down. There's still another week of Supreme. Calm down. Just because everything's not releasing, chill out. 
this definitely has an older Supreme vibe. If you've been fucking with Supreme for a while, whew, whew. Um, next shirt, next shirt. What you gonna do? All right, so this is, I don't say this is my least favorite. I'm not a huge fan of the Ganesh T solely because of the Supreme font that it's written in. It's like almost like cartoonish, which I don't understand why it's they use that font with um, the Ganesh uh, with the like, I don't understand why they use this font. Someone told me, I don't know if I believe this, not they didn't tell me. I was on on Instagram live with Jacob last night, Jacob Star, and um, yeah, it's like a comic font. And someone said that this says um, um, skateboarding under it i don't know if i believe that um yeah i don't know if i believe that but i'm sure that's gonna be like something a rumor that'll get perpetuated it's not a bad shirt it's not a bad shirt it's okay though um people are definitely fucking with it they don't hate this shirt a lot of thumbs up on the shirt and here we come to i think it's probably the most hype shirt this week um the Mona Lisa shirt. I feel like it's a beautiful, like before I seen the swimmer's tee, before I seen the swimmer's tee, I was so amped on the Mona Lisa and I'm still amped on the Mona Lisa. Um, I still want one. It's just that uh, you got you to gotta prioritize. I might not be able to get a Mona Lisa in the color that I want, so that's the only issue. I do like this pink colorway. This pink colorway is fucking fire, guys. Like, holy shit. It does remind me of an high-end, high-fashion tee. I did say this about the Hellraiser pinhead shirt. This reminds, this looks like something, other than the Supreme branding on the side, this looks like something that you might see from a higher-end brand. Like, it looks like, is, is it cracked? I can't tell if the if it was, like, in a frame and it was cracked or whatever is done to the image. It looks like it was cracked in some way. And, um, yeah, I, I, I. I like it. I like the design. I like the color choice as as that as far as that blue. It's fucking sick. But in my opinion, um, I still like the swimmer swimmer tee a lot more. It just has that vibe to it. Um, I fuck with the shirt as well. Um, I'm picking the swimmer tee over this one. How many is everybody going for the Mona Lisa shirt? Let me know right now in the Supreme chat. Let me know in the Supreme chat. Is everyone going for the look? It seems like everyone's going for this one. This is definitely the most liked item. One of the most liked items of this week. The most liked t-shirt out of all the tees this week. So let me know right now. Seems like you guys really like this shirt. All right. Any more tees? Let's check. Let's check. Any more tees? Let's check. And then we have, what is this one? The heart? Is this the hardware? Yeah, the hardware. I like I like this tee. I mean, it's cool. I, uh, once I found out that these were paintings, it blew my fucking mind. Um, I like the button up more. The t-shirt is definitely obviously a lot more wearable because it's just the image. So, you know, it, you don't have to worry about the all over print. But I still am a fan of the all over print on the button up a lot more. Is anyone going for the hardware shirt? Shirt? Do you guys like that? Let me know in the Supreme chat right now. It's definitely not bad. So it's, people saying it's terrible. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It's literally this shit is a painting, dog. Like if you if if you don't appreciate the fact that that really looks like a photograph and it's a painting, then I don't know. You obviously lack an appreciation for fine art. And don't get it twisted. Just because you don't go for any, just because you don't want to go for it, um, it's okay. Like, that doesn't mean you hate it, but 
the best sleeper item, in my opinion, it seems like it's the swimmer's tee. It seems like the Mona Lisa tee is getting outshined by the swimmer's tee. The swimmer's tee, I feel like, would have so much more appreciation if, if, if it was um, uh, really if the Mona Lisa tee wasn't released. I personally think that's a sleeper item this week. Um, or actually, maybe these baseball jerseys. I didn't realize these baseball jerseys were catching so much heat, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and then the last tee, which is my least favorite tee. I don't know. What does the community think about this tee? They actually kind of like it. I personally hate this shirt. Um, yeah, I do not like that shirt at all. Does anyone like the Gons tee? Is anyone fucking with this and going to be going for this? Let me know in the Supreme chat right now. This seems like it's lazy as fuck, and I'm the last person to ever call Supreme lazy when it comes to the design, because I feel like there's always, like, a reason behind it, but this one does seem pretty lazy. I can say that. I can, if, or I can understand why people would think that, oh, yeah, this is a lazy design. I can totally understand why people would say that, because it seems lazy. They literally just, I feel like they did this shirt earlier this season and just, like, re, re, repackaged it. Okay, so that looks like it's all the shirts. Is that all the shirts? Um, yes, it's all the shirts. All right, guys, so now that we got all the shirts out of the way, um, is anyone here? Let me know in the Supreme Chat right now. Is anyone here excited for the lookbook items? Anyone, anyone, let me know in the Supreme Chat now. Because me personally, I'm very excited for, for a, a couple of these lookbook items. Everybody's just looking for the tease. You can't say nope just the breathalyzer because that's part of the lookbook items. All right, guys. So me personally, I love this fucking breathalyzer. This breathalyzer is fucking ridiculous. Oh, my God. Young Flying Flashy, thanks for donating to the channel. Everybody show this motherfucker some love. I think this is low this is a low key hype week. I'm going for multiple items, tees, jersey, keychain, and the towel, all for the personal. God damn it. Thank you for donating to the channel, you goddamn hype beast. Everybody show him some love. Um I agree with you. This is a very hype week. I don't think it's low key though. I think everybody knows how hype this week is and is gonna be on it. So don't sleep on this week, young fly and flashy. Did you go for what you want to first and then try to get everything else? Cause shit's gonna be selling out. Um, as far as this uh breathalyzer keychain, I fucking love this thing. There's just so many game so many drinking games I want to play with it that I just can't wait to get it. Um, I, or fingers crossed, though, because I, I feel like this is going to be one of the first items to sell out. So I'm really, 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 really hoping I have zero issues with this checkout because I can't wait for this to fucking drop. Oh, my God. I've been waiting for this all season. And it's pretty obvious. I know most of the time I don't let you guys know in the Wednesday night hype what I'm going for. Um, but it's pretty obvious I, I really... Me just showing my excitement for this is pretty obvious that I want that. I want the fucking keychain. Um, next up, we have the mesh baseball top. Is anyone fucking with the mesh baseball top? Let me know in the Supreme chat right now. Mesh baseball top. Is anyone fucking with the mesh baseball top? Whew. 
Whew. That shit is fucking sexy. Oh, that mesh camo baseball. Get the fuck out of here if you hating on that. You can't hate on that. You can't hate on that. Sorry, I'm getting so amped. I'm sorry, I'm getting so amped. That shit is fire. Oh, oh. I I can't wait to to see how this sells out. I don't know. If, oh man, there's a lot happening to this tomorrow. I think this is fucking sick. You said the orange one is fire. Orange one is not bad. But dude, that camel one, and then peep this. That blue, the blue with the with the gu Gucci. Get the fuck out of here if you think this shit is trash. This shit is fucking fire. And I live in LA. LA is hot as shit, so this is gonna go perfectly on with the fit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, nigga. You know what I'm saying. So I fuck with this. I fuck with this. Um, we got the Rays logo patch camp cap. I'll deal with that later. I deal with hats last. The skull pile denim tote is hard as fuck. I like the skull pile denim tote. If you're a tote person, you should go for this shit because I believe like everything else that was skull piled, it glows in the dark. If you didn't fuck with the skull pile on like the shirt or I'm not sure the hoodie or the shorts or the jackets because it's a bit much. The tote is a better way to carry it. I fuck with the tote hard. That shit is dead motherfucking sexy. Dead sexy, guys. Nah, I'm not. Yo, if you're talking about the mesh shirt wearing another shirt under there, I don't care if my nips is all out. If you're looking at my nips, that's because my nips is popping. So the alphabet beach towel. See, I wish they did. I don't hate the alphabet beach towel. I really do like it, actually. But I wish they did. Because if you the, 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 the shirt itself was silk, I wish they did a fucking silk scarf. Oh, they took it off the website. They still didn't put it back on. The, it's supposed to be releasing tomorrow, but they still didn't put it back on the website. So it's still not on the website. So we just got to go off of this. Dude, my nips is popping, bro. My nips is popping. What can I say? They still don't haven't put the, the the beach towel on the website, but I do have a Supreme beach towel. And if you've never bought in, if you've never bought a beach towel, let alone just a Supreme one, just know that uh, beach towels are big as fuck. They're obviously it's a beach towel, so it's gonna be bigger than your normal towel. Just FYI, I know there are some people out there who are like, oh, beach towels, regular. No, beach towels are bigger, so just 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 be known. Just let it be known out there. Um, I do like it though and this is the only time I would try to get the alphabet print in another color other than black specifically for the beach towel because that blue and that orange that's more beachy vibe in my opinion so yeah I would go for it in the blue or the black the blue or the gr orange honestly well honestly that blue I would go for it in the blue to be totally honest if I was to go for it, I wish they did like a silk scarf. That shit would be dead sexy. Um, the vibrations rayon shirt. Um, did anyone get the vibration shit? I think last week it released. What they did like a jacket or pants or some shit? Did anyone go for that shit? Let me know in the supreme chat right now, motherfucker. The Supreme, the Supreme beach towels are good enough quality where you can hang them up. You can definitely hang them up. You won't. It'd be the equivalent of hanging up a normal beach towel on your wall. Me personally, I'm not with that. I don't do that shit because I don't know. Just this is I, I don't hate. I don't hate it. Like if I see like I have a homie who has that shit on his wall, uh, uh beach towel on his wall. It's like a weird design. Um. 
it's like a hippie ish design. I don't hate it. Like it's cool. It makes for good wall hanging shit. But like, yes, you could definitely hang that on your wall, a hundred percent. Um. Is it still on the site? No nah way. Is it still there? Oh, yeah, it is. Fuck. It still is in stock. Only large and up. Oh, large only. Extra large. Large. Personally, the the white was my favorite colorway. Oh, and you know the you know the quality on this is gonna be legit. Supreme don't don't hold back with their quality, so the quality is gonna be good at least. Um, I know the pants are probably still on the site. Sometimes, sometimes the pants sell out pretty fast. Oh, yeah. See, the pants sold out in the white. Pants actually, it's crazy when pants sell out and the top doesn't. Like, that's kind of crazy. But that just shows you, though, like, I, I say time and time again. That's why a lot of times I'll buy, uh, I love buying the Supreme pants is because when you're putting a fit together and, guys, if you're still trying to develop your fashion sense and style or whatever, you can go crazy prints with the pants a lot easier in my personal opinion. You can go crazy with the pants a lot easier than you can go crazy with the shirt. Like an all over print, sometimes it's a lot harder to pull off with a shirt than it is with the pants because the pants are like, and the way I look at fashion, it's like a tier. So usually your shirt, your upper is your top, your first tier. Your sneakers is probably your, it's, it's a close call between your sneakers and your pants as far as which second tier. And, uh, with, with your pant, with your second tier items, you can go a lot crazier. It's why you can wear crazy sneakers and simple pants and a simple top or crazy pants simple top simple sneakers and still put a solid fit together so i like the pants a lot um damn the alphabet vase is going for 500 fucking a So then we have the water shorts and I'm a little, oh no, actually no, I skipped over this shirt, the bri bridal print shirt. I must have not been paying attention to this the whole season because I totally forgot about this shirt. Is anyone going for the bridal print shirt tomorrow? Let me know in the Supreme chat right now, right now. Nope. Jacob Star said his grandpa wears this shit, so his grandpa must have crazy swag. The the blue one is definitely the best colorway out of everything. The green one reminds me of Versace. The green and gold both remind me of Versace uh colorways um the blue and red one that one wow so the blue one reminds me of gucci and then the green and the gold remind me of versace that's fucking crazy that's insane does it say something on the chest oh it just says supreme you shouldn't give a fuck you should wear the, if you like this shit you should wear this shit i personally I used to wear them a lot, but I don't wear them as much anymore. The short sleeve polos, I'm just not the biggest fan of them on, on me nowadays, um, but I don't hate them. I don't hate them at all. These are not bad shirts. These are not. Um, I think I will be going for FTP. Did the whole lookbook come out yet? I think that's, is that today or tomorrow? Or did it already come out? I don't remember. I think it might have been tomorrow, yesterday. The, when's the whole lookbook was, was supposed to come out?
Yeah, I already talked about the summer tease. Sorry if you missed it. If you're just getting here and you missed it. Um, but once I'm done talking about everything, if you're still around, you can ask me some questions and I will try to answer them to my best ability. Um... The Alphabet water shorts are fire, obviously, and since they are water shorts, they're trunks, any colorway you get is going to be solid. I like these in any colorway. Me personally, go, if I was to go for these, I would want to get them in black so I can wear the top and the bottom to the beach looking like a fucking boss. And then we have the ribbed pocket tee that's unseen um i don't know how i feel about that i just need to see it i mean it's unseen so it could be horrible it could be the best fucking item supreme has released all season i went for a pocket tee that supreme did a couple weeks ago and it's one of my favorite shirts and it wasn't in the lookbook and it wasn't a collaboration and it was the uh, pink camo shirt i love that oh my god the pink camo shirt is fucking beautiful but you know so this ribbed pocket tee could be ridiculous it could blow the, the rib pocket that's the thing about it the rib pocket tee could blow the whole fucking week 19 up and just be the hottest fucking item that's what i love about when they do the unseen items <laughs> do i do cocaine now don't do drugs kids I, I I feel you, uh, Germany. I would have preferred, because they already did a pocket tee like a couple weeks ago. I would have preferred just a regular tee, but they're already doing a bunch of t-shirts, so maybe that's why it's a pocket tee. Who knows? Um, the floral hats aren't bad. I'm just not a fan of the way they did the Supreme font. Um, they're okay. Um, nothing crazy. I do like the floral print, though. I do. I do fuck with it. Um, the raised logo patch camp cap. Um, it looks cool. Yeah, it looks okay. Let me see if we can. Get to these hats. Is anyone looking to get uh, hats tomorrow? Let me know in the Supreme chat. Anyone looking for hats tomorrow? Is anyone looking for hats tomorrow? That just looks like a pretty straightforward fucking camp cap. Damn, that shit's pretty solid. What's it made out of? Rubberized logo patch, but it doesn't say. Oh, it's rubber. Damn, that hat is actually fucking fire. The white one is beautiful. That shit's going to sell the fuck out. That white one's going to sell out so fucking fast. I think every all and I think all of them are, are going to sell out, but that white one is going to fly holy shit you just got a straight up just supreme doubt hat the white with the red that's just going to fucking fly i used to be a hack i where my hair was shorter but not anymore now that i got these luxurious locks yeah the floral is fucking it's nice is it denim I can't tell. It looks like maybe it's just a regular cotton hat. Um, I I like I like the way the Supreme is done. It's done almost in like um, a washed or like a faded print. Like it doesn't look like it's like like you see how like the E and the M is faded. Like I like it looks like it's um what's the word? It looks like it was a stencil. Like they stenciled it on and like spray you know stencil and spray paint and shit that's why i like the dark floral one um the light one it doesn't look like that's the same type of treatment but i just like the dark floral and better it, it, i just like the dark floral um better just as a print um seems like you can wear it a lot more it it does look like some h&m sh it, it can kind of look like some h&m shit but at the same time that's because h&m bi bites everybody like that's not that's not H&M shit. That's Supreme shit that H&M took. Always remember that. Always. H&M, they're the people who don't, they don't innovate. 
there's nothing that H&M does original that you're like, oh, shit, I can only get this from H&M. H&M goes to places. So when you say, oh, that looks like some H&M shit because that gets thrown around a lot, that's not necessarily a bad thing. If anything, you're only saying, yes, that is a fucking good hat. If anything, that's what you're saying. Because H&M just bites. They haven't, H&M ain't doing anything original. So... All right, is there anything else? That Sesame Street Unico collab is fucking ridiculous. I'm pissed that it's dropping tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I have more songs coming, 100%. All right, so that's everything out of the drop this week. I will now open the floodgates to questions. Let, uh, let me know in the uh, fucking Supreme chat right now what you guys are thinking, what questions you guys have, and I will try to answer them to my best ability. Yeah, Supreme has gone 20 weeks before last season, fall, winter. And that was the actual first time they had ever gone 20 weeks, as far as I can remember. Usually it's 18 weeks. Hold on. Yeah, H&M say it's mon mad money on designers because they don't need to hire them. They just got to look at whatever's dropping. You can get two T's in the same card as long as they're fucking different. I don't know about if I'm going for any bronze. Uh, like, I don't know if I need to go for any bronze because bronze kind of it does it kind of sits depending on how good the design is. Uh, you need two pairs of Yeezys this weekend, huh? Because all the Supreme shit is dropping tomorrow. And I, I want to go in on the Supreme shit, but, you know, I got to be aware of the fact that the Uniqlo shit is dropping. Luckily, the Uniqlo shit is mad fucking cheap. So, like, it's not expensive at all. So I, I don't have to worry too bad, but that's why I'm pissed. I love the Uniqlo shit. I have mad fucking shit from when they collaborated with Charlie Brown or Peanuts or um, Snoopy. Yeah, and the Young Lean One stars are tomorrow too. Those shits are fucking hard. Oh, Uniqlo goes in store Friday. That's cool. But I honestly, I, the internet has fucked me up. I hate going to the mall now or I hate going to stores. Is there anyone else like that? Let me know. Yeah, the FTP is really what's got me fucking like thinking. Other than the breathalyzer, breathalyzer is definitely my number one. Um, personally, my favorite item out of everything is probably the swimmer's tee. The swimmer's tee is just beautiful to me, dude. It just reminds me of, like, honestly, like, old Supreme. Like, it is straight out of, like, some old Supreme design. A hundred percent. Can you, I ship the same to the same address if I use different cards for the same item? No. Once you purchase that item, once you buy that item to this address, that item can never go to that address again. Like, I couldn't even buy some underwear right now if I wanted to. Even if it's different cards. When Supreme season stops, you will see the additional Sin Supreme content. If you haven't seen any of it, there's playlists of it now. There's Let's Talk Supreme. There's uh, Shopping with Sin. Um, I just put out a music video a couple weeks ago. Um, I just put out a video what uh, yesterday, let's say Wednesday, yeah, yesterday called um, High Fashion. If you're wondering what kind of content, uh, that's uh, just a small bit of more to come. Trust me. Oh, shit.
Thank you. Yeah, I like doing the high fashion videos. Those shits are mad fun. I'm probably going to make them smaller and do a lot more of them. Um, so it'll only be probably like one fashion show um, per video. But since it was the first one, I wanted to just make it, uh, you know, big kind of like, hey, check these out. Um, but they're probably going to be smaller and I'm going to bring in guests, more people to chill with me, shoot with me, get high with me and fucking um, uh, uh, watch these, these sick ass runways. Because if you don't know, these runways are happening all the time, like like not. Like they're happening a lot. There's a lot of runways. There's runways that I didn't do from last week from Par from Paris Fashion Week that I definitely will be doing soon. Like, and these runways are sick, dude. Do yeah. Make sure you DM me, uh, uh, or or through whether it's through Twitter or through Instagram. Make sure you DM me your your fashion runway suggestions, um, and let me know which ones you want me to check out because I want to do the brands that you guys like too. Holla at your boy, Andrew. If you're just getting here, pretty much, I already finished talking about the lookbook and all the teas this week. If you guys got any questions, let me know. I'm still hanging around here just because it wasn't a huge drop. It's not a big drop, but uh, so we got through the, all the lookbook items pretty fast. Golf runway. Nah, no BOGOs this season, guys. You guys knew there was no BOGOs this season, so stop tripping. I'll definitely start pausing videos and analyzing outfits 100%. I think you'll be able to I think it's I think it's possible to one cart 5 tees, all 5 tees. The only thing is is that um uh size and colorway might sell out. So you'll still be able to get the tees because they're releasing each T-shirt in, uh, I believe, seven colorways. So that's a lot of T-shirts. So you're definitely going to be able to get one tomorrow. Like you should not take an L. Um, but uh, it'll just vary on the size or the colorway. Um, you might take an L in that regard. It might not be able to get a shirt that you wanted in a specific size or colorway. But. Uh, you should be able to still get a shirt tomorrow. A hundred percent. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, flashy and fly. Thank you, flash, flying, flashy. Ah, thank you, young, flying, flashy, for donating to the channel. Let me know if you didn't already what you're going for tomorrow, right now. Is there any other questions you guys got for me, dude? That's the only thing I might say. Honestly, Tyler might be right in that regard. King uh, Nasir is smalls always are known for selling out. So the smalls might be gone ridiculously fast. I'm just saying, smalls are known to sell out incredibly fast. The item might not completely sell out, but smalls are definitely known to sell out crazy fast. So I would say to anyone trying to multi-cart or trying to get something small, don't even try. Go for that item you really want in a small first. Because smalls are never safe in Supreme. Smalls are never safe. Yeah, I'm waiting for the next uh, hidden rank drop. Um, honestly, with well, Andrew, the next hidden rank drop, I pro the next hidden rank drop that happens that I'm a part of that I that I get something. I'm probably gonna do like a show and tell, Supreme show and tell about not, not a Supreme show and tell, a, a sin Supreme show and tell uh, about the the what I get from them because they release some hot shit. Huh. Tina, you'll be good. You'll be good. Just go for it first. 
Just go for it first. And don't try to multi-card anything. Just go for that first if you're going for a small because smalls are never safe. I'm going to coin that. Smalls are never safe. Anything else you guys want to know? No, I'm not copying the Yeezys. I can't tell if you're trolling, Run. Are you trolling about what lookbook items are? You're trolling. I can't tell. I know you see my comment. <laughs> Obviously, I've seen your comment. Best item of the season so far. I had. I don't know, man. That's a hard one. That is a hard one. The one I've worn the most. The item I've worn the most this season. A hundred percent is the. Um, Hellraiser basketball shorts. I've worn those the most. I'm wearing them right now. So there's that. Yeah, I can do a sneaker collection video. My sneaker collection is pretty humble. It's not. It's not as big as I. Uh, uh, I would say it's not as big as I wanted to. But I'm missing a lot of stuff that I want. That I really want. Oh, I'll put the Discord invite in there right now. Shout out to the Discord gang. What's your name? Matza, you're crazy, dude. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you for thinking I'm sexy. So I would definitely join both Supreme Discords because... Are, are the colors for the tees even released? I don't even think all the colors for the tees are released. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So these are all the colors for the shirts. So I guess gold is coming in everything. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so maybe I'm just bugging. All right, so the best colorways for the shirts, it depends on... All right, so if you're looking for the best color uh, of the shirts, you got to let me know what shirt you're looking for because then I can tell you because it changes with every shirt. Not every shirt works in every color. My favorite shirt out of all of them is a swimmer's tee. Well... You're saying colors aren't released, but if you count the shirts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're saying seven colors. So it's probably these seven colors. The purple, the gold, the blue, the gray, the white, the pink, and the black. So that's probably the colors of the shirts is what I'm imagining. Best color in the swimmer tee. They, Su Supreme is, knows what they're doing when they do usually their... When they when they show you a, the first front photo is usually the best photo, best color usually, um, and uh, the swimmer tee the gold is the best color in the in that shirt, like that shirt and the swimmer tee is popping. I I don't even have anything I know for certain that I could wear with that. Like I don't even know if I have anything that would work with this gold tee, um, but this colorway is fucking ridiculous. It the 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 image just pops. The blue with the um, the the blue of the what of the water just hits. Let me just go to this shirt. Why am I playing fucking games? Let me just show y'all. Like, oh my god, the way the blue hits off of the gold, it's just ridiculous. And then just in general, the color of the shirt itself is already a hard shirt. Um, and then the size of the image, yeah, I fuck with it. 
where my alcoholics at? I don't think you'll find many in here, guy. We spend our money on Supreme. <laughs> Are they on Dross by Jay's Twitter? Did he say anything about the... Okay. So, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. So the Ganesh tea orange, where's the m black heather gray, dark slate, which I'm imagining is blue, red, light pink, and a mustard. So that's mustard. Okay. Mustard's hard. And so the Ganesh, all right, so mustard is my favorite in the swimmer's tea. The Gonzo tea, if you're looking for that, if you like that, the black, heather gray, royal red, light purple, warm gray, and a mustard. And that's the Gonz tea. Uh... I think this purple one is the best one in my opinion. That colorway is the best one, the light purple. Yeah, that was the best one. Um, The tentacle tea, black, heather gray, royal, red, hot pink, pale yellow, brick. Damn, I want to see what that pale yellow looks like. Oh, what am I talking about? Pale yellow looks like the fucking... I got pale yellow in the Prodigy tea. Pale yellow will look good with this. Um, what else? Heather Gray looks good with it. Um, that looks really good. Uh, Royal knows no go. Reds a no go. Hot pink might look good with it. I'm not sure. Brick is, I imagine, like a darker red. Uh, like maybe like a burgundy ish colorway. I don't think that'll look good with it personally. So I think I like the white with it and I like the uh, Heather Gray and pale yellow might work. Um, Mona Lisa T. The Mona Lisa T comes in the white, black, Heather Gray, royal, red, hot pink, pale yellow, light purple. Hmm. Mona Lisa T. Let me look at the Mona Lisa T. Because the one they have up is my favorite. The this what is this? Hot pink? Yeah, that's hot pink. That's my favorite off rip. That shit is fucking fire. The hot pink, I'm sure it's gonna fly. Um, because that's the best one. Uh pale yellow would also look really good. Wow, the pale yellow will look really good, actually. Um light purple, meh. It'll hit. Like, that'll still, like, move. Um, royal. No. Because it's just a lighter, the lighter blue. I don't like it. The, the colors are too close. Um, heather gray would look decent. Uh, black would look okay. White would look pretty good. My favorite would probably be the hot pink and the pale yellow. Um... The hardware tea, white, black, ash, royal, red, and navy, pale yellow, light purple. Let me look at that image again, though, because there's a lot going on in that image. If you're if you're not the one to wear hot pink, if you go for it, what color are you going for? Because the pale yellow is not bad. Um. The blue is honestly really hitting with that because you got the tan in the back and the red over here. So I like the blue, the navy. Um, 
Pale Yellow might look pretty cool. Um, uh, Royal's probably not going to look really nice. Gray Ash, I guess, is the gray-ish. White will look pretty cool. My favorite is the navy. I like the navy. Yeah, so those are my that's my opinion on all the color tees. On all the colors, like the best colors. Um Any other questions, guys? I've been on for like about an hour, so I'm probably about to get out of here. Any other questions before I biggity bounce? How many guys we got in here? 60 people, that's not bad. It's crazy because these things used to be like, these lot Wednesday night hypes used to be like fucking 200 people. It was kind of crazy. I can never tell if you're trolling or not when you ask what, what are lookbook items. Thanks, Tina. Good luck tomorrow to you as well. And ST will be firing orange. Is there anything else before I bounce, guys? Because I want to make sure I always I always feel bad if I don't get to answer your questions. But um, no, I don't play stupid. I'm not carting multiple anything. I might cart multiple shirts, like T-shirts. But as far as fucking what I'm mainly going for tomorrow, I'm going for that, and then I'll see what else is what I, what's up with everything else. It depends on what you're going for if you're going to try to double cart. Um, yeah, you guys are the real ones. Shout out to Savon. You guys are the real ones. I fuck with that. I don't know the resale for anything tomorrow. I think that'll that resale will be pretty good, but like it won't be crazy. Like everybody everybody thought the resale for the axe was gonna be crazy. Um but it uh is pretty close to retail, honestly. So these might be pretty close to retail just because in the end of the day, the branding's not super duper crazy. It's honestly just like a box logo on it. Um and you can get one for cheaper that does the same thing. Um, if you look at the, oops, if you look at the normal ones, they look exactly the same. The only difference is the fucking, yeah. The only difference is, is it's got the Supreme box logo right here, which will probably scrape off. I'm imagining this shit will probably scrape, scrape off. But hell yeah, dude. That shit is sick, dog. It's a fucking breathalyzer. So, oh, shit. Now I, man, I feel bad. Is that guy still here? Hold on. Pablo, are you still here, Pablo? I'm bad. I, I feel bad. I'm, I'm, I feel bad because now I know I get what you were talking about. I think because we were talking about something. I was talking probably about something totally different. That I didn't realize what you're talking about. Yes. Shout out to all my alcoholics because uh, we're going for a fucking um, <laughs> a fucking uh, breathalyzer. I just got that what you were talking about, man. I'm sorry. That was actually perfect. What you were saying. Shout out to all my alcoholics. I appreciate that, man. Sorry again, man. I'm an idiot. I'm obviously incredibly stoned, if you can't tell. But I'm not an alcoholic, I guess, is why I took so, so much offense to it. Or I guess maybe I am, and that's kind of the first. 
thing to realize in being an alcoholic is that you're in denial of being an alcoholic. Damn, man. Now I'm all thinking, am I an alcoholic? Fuck. I'm trying to buy a fucking breathalyzer <laughs> to play drinking games with it. <laughs> Fuck. You got a nigga thinking about life right now. What's the secret to growing your locks? I don't know if there's a secret. I just started growing them. I don't do, I don't I don't know what the secret is. I think anything's possible, uh Turo or two or Bang. Um I just don't know if it's yeah, anything's possible. It's not impossible, but is it probable? Uh, or, I mean, is it a chance that you're going to take an L? Probably. There's probably a chance you're going to take an L. Yo, <laughs> the first sign of being an alcoholic is definitely buying a Supreme breathalyzer. All right, guys, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I love each and every one of you. I thank you all for the support 110%. Shout out to Pablo again, and shout out to all my alcoholics. Um, <clears throat> once again, make sure you join the Discord. The Discord is in the chat if you scroll up. Um, make sure you make sure you check, uh, join, uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Um, as always, you know where to find the live cops. It is your boy, Sin Supreme, and I shall see you tomorrow because it's Thursday. We only got one more week, guys. It's fucking crazy. So good luck tomorrow. I know all of you guys are taking W's. I know all you guys are getting everything you want, and I'll holler at you later. Peace.